start recording. Okay, we're going to play some No Band Jund against a Jeskai Ascendancy deck, which I got a mulligan. It's not a black land, black mana. And we'll keep this because we got a Deathrite Shaman. Yeah, it would be sweet. But we'll keep a fetch land. Uh, another land is good. He's probably going to bury me here because I don't have any interaction. But hopefully this Bob can take me to the promised land. I don't know a lot about his combo deck. I don't know how fast it goes off. I don't know, like, really what it does. Well, I guess I know what it does, but I don't know. I don't really know the ins and outs of it and how it works. I'm pretty sure you need, like, a mana creature, a Jeskai Ascendancy, and something that costs zero. And, like, I need, like, I can, I can help myself by playing around, uh, by leaving Deathrite Shaman up to eat like a Fate Stitcher that he unearths. So yeah, like there's there's the first part of the of the combo. Probe. Had a little sequencing weirdness there. Probably been better to probe first, but because you might have hit like another botanical sanctum to keep a counter off that gemstone mine. Okay, there's a land. There's a fatal push. No, that really does anything. So we'll play our land. Go with the chump check. And then I'm going to eat whatever he does here. Like, if I'm going to leave this death rate shaman up. Okay, well, that worked. And I'll eat this probe. Or I'll eat a fate stitcher. I don't really want to commit this tarmogoyf yet. I need like a discard spell. Pretty bad. Preordain. Again, like the sequencing is kind of weird. Went bottom. Bottom top? That's fair. See, there we go. And I'm going to die here if I don't find some way to either kill a Jeskai Ascendancy or to like get a get a discard spell okay well there's something so let's see what i'm working with don't miss that me okay ideas and bound draw three cards i don't have any idea which one of these i'm supposed to take but i guess i'm just going to take this glittering wish I think that kills me. And I'm just going to hold back here. If he goes tries to do anything weird, I'm going to eat the Fate Stitcher with the Deathrite Shaman. I think we can just play slow for now until he finds some sort of uh, some sort of way to like actually gain some velocity. So that's what he ripped. He ripped Ponder. I could spin the wheel, but that leaves me just kind of naked. <laughs> this Blood Blade Elf has not been very good. I mean, this whole deck has been a little underwhelming. Everything feels like a little clunky. They chose not to shuffle. Okay. So now he ponders into the top card, or is he just going to shuffle this ponder? We shall see. They chose to shuffle. Okay. That's good for the home team. Luton. So I still know everything going on with the hand. He ditched Fate Stitcher. 
So now we eat Fate Stitcher with Shaman. Because you can only... You can only do this as a sorcery, I think. Like, you can't just Fate Stitcher. Get rid of this. And then we'll Shaman up. Come on, give me land, okay. All right. So I probably should, because I know a bunch of cards. I should eat this right now. Let's do this in our main phase. No. You know what, we're just gonna, we're gonna spin the wheel because we have another land. We cascading the punishing fire, okay. And at least now we can attack. And then I'm gonna play this and eat the face. He's like best BBE ever. And then I'm gonna attack with both of these little guys, then play this shock plan and eat the faithless looting and hope he doesn't kill me. That's the plan. But at least we're on the board. Like, we have stuff going on. We're tapped out, so hopefully he doesn't kill me. This deck also hasn't felt super great. What is this? Preordain? City of Brass. There's a lot of mana. So I can fire up Ravine and make him block next turn, so he loses one of his creatures. But I, I don't know. I honestly don't know, like, how close is he to actually killing me? You know? Yeah, I think I just fire up Raging Ravine. And then hold this Shaman back. And then just attack with all these. He's got a chump block. Next turn he's going to lose a creature. He's going to have no creatures. So he pretty much has to kill me next turn. I guess he didn't necessarily have to. I guess he did because then the shaman kills him. That was a misplay on my part. But I guess he saw that I had a land. So even if I hadn't played my land, he would have played around. He would have played around the, uh, the shaman activation and blocked this Bob. Ideas unbound. Metamorphos. Okay. City of Brass. I don't really know what he does here. Moto's freezing, which probably means that he's conceding. 
If I had to assume, yep, there we go. I think we got extremely lucky there. So I want this, want this, want this. Okay, we don't need the elves. This isn't an elf matchup. We don't need punishing fires. We don't need we probably we don't we don't really need fatal pushes because fate stitcher is a four drop. So we'll just like probably don't need Kologon's command. So fatal push is probably better. Oh, that's even. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do here. We'll submit this. Um, this is a Liliana. We have a way to kill Jeskai Ascendancy. We have interaction on one. And we've got a Liliana to kind of round out our hand. So I'm going to keep this. Especially when our opponent mulligans. Like... Mold of four, like that's just that's pretty savage. We'll leave the character. We'll just take the wish. We can edict the carrioted, kill the ascendancy. Yeah. So we kept a probe on top. Yeah. Dude, I love my thought seasons so much. So happy my wife got me these. Then he missed on a land drop. Uh, we should have played that tapped. We should have played a tapped land. Because it's not like we can replicate anything next turn more than likely. So that was a that was a mistake on my part. Misstep that. Um, go fetch Blood Crypt. Play Liliana, take up a discard Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, I mean, he just, like, he, I mean, it's it's no different whether your deck's super powered or not powered. If you mulligan against Thoughtseize, it's pretty impossible. Yeah, this sucks. Alright, now we'll play some Death Shadow. Here, so we'll stop.